Wizard with a Gun was always meant to be a four-player game, but Wizard with a Gun is complex, really complex, and with all the moving parts in early development, releasing with four-player just wouldn't have been putting our best foot forward. Honestly, the players deserve our best, so as many of you know during production, we made the hard decision to reduce the game to two-player for release. And then we continued working on getting four player into the best possible state for our community. We wanted to share a little bit of insight on how this came about and also give you a taste of what's to come in our next update. Development went through a mountain of technical challenges to make four player gameplay work. We actively simulate more parts of the world at once when multiple players are in different areas. More wizards also means more cool particle effects on screen and enemies on screen and more places for our networking code to fail and it checks on mismatch, which can crash the game entirely. Early on, we had four-player playtests where we couldn't even re-roll the world without the game crashing. Even games with three-player were stuttering because of network issues. We definitely had our work cut out for us to get the performance and stability for broader multiplayer to where we wanted. Even as we were approaching the initial launch with the two-player limit, we continued working to support four players. It took a lot of effort, but we finally got here and we're really proud of what we've accomplished. Beyond the technical concerns, we knew balancing the game for four players was also going to be a challenge. Through our regular playtests, we identified a number of changes to bring the four-player experience up to our standards. We wanted to ensure that folks would find an appropriate amount of challenge with up to four players, and also encourage them to stick together as they roam the shadow. And of course, everyone's preferred experience differs, so with this new update, we're providing four preset difficulty modes, as well as a custom mode with a handful of settings so you can tune the game however you like. If you thought that four player was the only thing we were including in this update, think again, because you were wrong. You, you, you were wrong about that. We've also got a new library that allows you to reread all the tasty lore you found in the Shatter and some big chunks of content in the end game. I don't know how much we're allowed to tease that, but all I can say is that it will be chaotic. So that's a lot to cover, but we're really excited to share this update with you. By the way, we're calling it the Better Together update because Wizard with a Gun is better together. Get it? You'll be able to Wizard with a Gun in four player squads on May 13th. And we can't wait to get it into your hands. As always, we love to hear what you think. Thanks for watching, y'all, and we hope you enjoyed this little peek behind the scenes. Thank you.